Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day today. So I wanted to show off a little Call of Duty Mobile gameplay just to let you guys see what this game is like just a little bit more on the PC emulator. I actually popped off this game, and I got a tactical nuke, so I wanted to show that off a little bit. Actually, at the end of the gameplay, I didn't even call it in. I didn't know how to use it or anything like that, so do pardon me if you just see me sitting there spamming a bunch of keys trying to call it in. I'll probably actually just cut that out because I'm sure a lot of you guys don't even want to watch that. But still, I got the tactical nuke, and that's all you guys really need to see out of it. But today, I just want to talk a little bit more about Black Ops 5. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Whatever. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's, that's not even out yet, so why are you talking about Black Ops 5? There's just not much content going around right now. Black Ops 4 is pretty much dead to me. Call of Duty Modern Warfare isn't out, and I'm kind of tired of talking about leaks. I just want to talk a little bit about facts, but there's not much facts to go around because Infinity Ward won't say anything. So I thought, hey, let's just talk a little bit about the leaks of a future title, a game that isn't even coming out anytime soon, a game that's coming out by next year. So today, I just want to talk about why I'm actually very excited for Call of Duty Black Ops 5. Now, as you all know, a lot of people are very worried about this title, and they're worried about the outcome that this game is actually going to have. Respectfully, I can't even blame them. You know, Black Ops 4 was a complete mess when it came to microtransactions, so I wouldn't really blame anybody for thinking Black Ops 5 would be the exact same way. Now, I do want to stay positive, and I want to say that the microtransaction system won't be as bad as Black Ops 4, but from the leaks that we're hearing from the gaming revolution about Modern Warfare, it seems like Modern Warfare is going to be having the same exact microtransaction system that BO4 did. And if that's the case, then, I mean, if Modern Warfare has the same microtransactions, if the community doesn't revolt back then, then obviously things are going to probably be the exact same way in Black Ops 5. But let's just say that Call of Duty Black Ops 5, or let's just say Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the microtransactions aren't bad. And Activision says, hey, let's just go cosmetics only, and that's how they work with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the same thing with uh, Black Ops 5. Now it just comes down to the actual gameplay, and if the game will actually be fun. Now one massive concern that a lot of the community has had about Black Ops 5 is how Sledgehammer Games was completely cut out of this game, and they were the ones designing it from the beginning, and Treyarch had to come in halfway through, actually halfway through the Black Ops 4 life cycle, to come help out with Black Ops 5. Now a lot of people are stressing out because, you know, Treyarch didn't have a lot of time to work on this title. They're coming in very late, and they don't even know what's going on. But I don't want you guys to stress about that. Because just remember, Sledgehammer Games is not a rookie studio. They know exactly what they're doing. Besides the main two titles that Sledgehammer Games got to work on, which were Call of Duty World War II and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they actually got to work on a ton of Call of Duty games. Just look at the whole Modern Warfare franchise. They pretty much helped Infinity Ward make each and every one of those games. And all of those games came to revolutionize what we know Call of Duty as of today. So Sledgehammer Games is not a rookie studio. And what they already have done is probably good enough. And it's not going to be like, you know, Sledgehammer Games put some, you know, nostro nostrosity of a game together that looks completely awful. No, let's be honest here. Sledgehammer Games knows what they're doing. And with Treyarch Studio coming in, working with another development studio, and also Raven Studios working on this game as well, I think they might know what they're doing with this title. Another thing that really gets me pumped about this is that it's actually going to be placed during the Cold War in Vietnam. Now, we haven't seen a Call of Duty game like this in a very long time. The last game we actually got that was during that time period was Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Now, the reason I like this time period so much is because I like historical games, but sometimes World War II games get a little annoying because the weapons and the options and the choices that you get to have in the game are just, you know... It's kind of limited because, you know, they didn't have that much stuff back in World War II. But Vietnam, you still have a wide variety of weapons to use, a bunch of equipment to use, really cool maps to play on. It's a perfect game that can go back historically so you can still have a nice historical, you know, actual experience. But at the same time, they can keep it fast paced, they can keep it action packed, and it'll be tons of content that you can actually mess with in this game. Now, for those who have actually played the Modern Warfare beta, you know that there is a ground war mode that was implemented into this beta. And I was one that said in my actual, you know, review of the whole beta that I want to see this mode transferred into any other Call of Duty game. And if they move this game mode into Black Ops 5, I would be in love. Could you imagine a large-scaled, you know, complete all-out chaos game mode developed by Treyarch Studios? Remember, Treyarch designs their games completely different than Infinity Ward. They typically make their games a lot more fast-paced than a typical Infinity Ward game is. Remember, the whole Modern Warfare series... It plays completely different than a game like Black Ops 2 through Black Ops 4. So just imagining a ground war game mode made by Treyarch 
also set in the Vietnam War. Oh my god, I, j I love the idea, and it makes me very excited for the game if they actually decide to take this step forward with this. And the last thing that makes me very excited for Call of Duty Black Ops 5 is the leaks that were actually talking about how the game is taking back the traditional, very gritty, realistic, war feeling game style that Call of Duty Modern Warfare is also trying to represent in their campaign as well. Treyarch games weren't all just, you know, colorful, butterfly flowers and beautiful landscapes, you know. They used to have some really hardcore military campaigns. And I mean, what really brought me into Call of Duty were their hardcore military campaigns. Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and Call of Duty World at War really drew me in. And it kills me to see what the kids like to see these days for Call of Duty games. It's like, back then when I saw a Call of Duty game, I got, you no know, attracted to that game because it was nitty, it was gritty, it was hardcore, and it was for adults. Clearly, it was made for adults. So as a kid, it made me want to play it even more. Nowadays, I, I don't even know what kids want to see with these games, man. I, I don't even know. I don't see anything that's nitty gritty or, you know, realistic or actual war that's represented in any of these Call of Duty titles anymore. Besides Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I can't wait to see what they have in store with this new campaign. But even the first mission from Call of Duty World at War... It was just so intense, so gory, and it really put you in the mood. It made you just sit down and think, sorry for the language, but you were just like, oh shit, I'm in the middle of this war, this is about to get real. I loved that about Call of Duty games, and that's where they lost me for a very long time with these more recent Call of Duty games as well. It didn't give me that feeling that I used to have when I was a kid playing these titles. And what this says to me is that Treyarch is really trying to go back to what they used to be. Just like how Infinity War tried to go back and revisit their roots, and how they incorporated all these Modern Warfare titles to make the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I think Black Ops and the whole series is trying to put it together to make a new Black Ops 5. Now of course, you know, Activision is going to control whether this game succeeds or fails. With the microtransactions that are involved in this title, who knows what they're actually going to implement and what pay to win weapons they're going to put into this game. They might even put the you know fan favorite commando behind a paywall, which would absolutely drive people insane. But just push Activision aside for a second and just think about the devs and what they're making. I seriously think Treyarch knows what they're putting together this time. I think they have a good idea what the fans are craving, what the fans want. And remember the cycles that Call of Duty goes through. They never do anything different from one another. Usually, whether it was Sledgehammer, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, or just Infinity Ward and, you know, Treyarch, they usually always make very similar titles. Not similar titles with, you know, how the games are, you know, looking like modern day and past times and World War II and stuff like that. No, I'm just talking about the actual mechanics, like Jetpack Cods. When one team made a Jetpack Cod, the rest of them made Jetpack Cods along with them. So what I'm predicting from this game is that since Modern Warfare is coming out with a more gritty experience, Treyarch is going to do the same exact thing and try to represent that same gritty experience as well. Because Treyarch always nails the arcade playstyle. We can never, you know, complain about that. Treyarch has that down and on lock. But when they put together the arcade style with, you know, classic, hardcore feeling vibes that a game like World at War or Black Ops 1, you know, produces to people, that just makes me excited. I'm pumped to give that another try again. But make sure you go down in the comments section and let me know how you feel about Black Ops 5. Do you have high hopes for this title? Do you think it's going to fail? What is your personal opinion on it? You guys know how I feel. I think that this game is going to turn out absolutely amazing if Treyarch does things correctly. I think they understand what the community wants out of one of their games. And if they have all these teams working on it together, Sledgehammer Games, Treyarch Studios, and also Raven Studios as well, what makes this going to be a bad title? I think with all of their help and all of them working together as one unit, they could really bring this game out and they could produce a really good title. You know, it would be a different story if Sledgehammer Games got completely cut and pushed out the door and Treyarch had to work alone, but Sledgehammer pretty much got, just got demoted and Treyarch is coming in and they're all going to be working together. So allowing Sledgehammer to, you know, continue to assist with this game that they already started putting together and they could tell Treyarch what they were doing, what their plans were, what they were trying to get out of this game, then Treyarch can go ahead and put their own twist on it as well. 
I think they know what they're doing, and I think they could put a good game out. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it. If you hate it, you can always dislike it. If you want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification button, that will always get you notified on all my recent uploads. Also, if you want to go ahead and check out my Twitter account where I post all of my thoughts and also my behind-the-scenes clips, you can go ahead by checking out at Man. And if you want to catch me streaming, I'm over on Twitch as well, at Man. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.